what's up everybody this is blaze aka blaze is too much for you what's up this is donable and right now we're on the road today as you can see yes this is another video yet with the same lollipop because something just came to my attention that i wanted to talk about because it was really kind of yeah it was irking me so i just really yeah. want to ask this question it's a lot of this shit going around too so y'all listen up Oof. okay mm. Why do lesbians who are pregnant claim rape? And I'm hearing this a lot more than usual. I mean, a lot more. Like, I mean, I understand that, you know, people can be raped, you know, maybe once or twice. But then again, I figure after, maybe the first time after you get raped, you protect yourself yeah. so it'll never happen again. You know, that's, that's one thing. Two... You know, when you can actually prepare yourself for that situation if it does come back around again. And not just that, but a lot of the people that I'm hearing this from are like my age, like 19 and older, grown ass women. Yeah. Grown ass women who be rolling around with their cousins all day to myself, yeah, girl, go shake my ass. But then again, the end of the night when uh, basically either you gave it up or whatever, or you end up pregnant a couple of months, you claim you got right. <clears throat> now. This is my, this is what disturbs me, okay? Girls who, one, they, they're lesbian, claim that, oh, I don't do niggas, I don't fuck niggas, oh, no, nah, fuck a nigga, this, this, and that. Okay, you all the way gay, that's what you say. But you pregnant right now, I just met you. You know what I'm saying? So then I ask, oh, damn, so, you know, how, how you get this? Oh, I was raped. And then you was raped two or three other times because you got other kids but you 19 and 20 or 18 I mean I would think eventually you would get too grown to be getting raped like that all the time I would think after the first or the second time you would learn your lesson it shouldn't even happen twice but if it do I can understand because you was young you know a family member might have molested you a drunk uncle or something then when you got older, you might have been a little too trusting with some dudes at the age of 13, 14, 15. And you, you know, get too trusting this and nigga try to rape you. I could understand that, but I don't understand you in 19. You got millions of niggas who your friends. You're supposed to be a lesbian. You got brothers. Oh, I spent the night over this dude house. And yeah, that's my brother. I knew him. This and this and that. Nigga like 35 and 40 years old picking you up. Shit doing whatever for you. And then you got kids with this dude though. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying you might. You might tell me you you don't, but you probably do. Got kids with the dudes. You know, and like, and if you lay up and then get raped, you say that shit just because you don't want people to to say anything about it. So you're going to say you got raped, but damn it, how many times can you be raped? You know what I'm saying? It just, it don't make sense. How and, many times? And another thing, too, that I want to add as well is some of these girls out here who are, as you can say, straight. Like, they were basically straight for as long as you know them, they were straight. All of a sudden, these girls get pregnant, baby daddy ain't nowhere to be found, and all of a sudden, they trying to get a study to take care of it. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's and that's, and that's that's one thing there, and I don't appreciate a lot of that going on. That's, that is crazy. There's a lot of stuff going on in this world, so I really can't say, you know, why I can't appreciate, but like I said, I can't speak for myself. I can do that much. And also, these bisexual girls who are messing with dudes and getting pregnant, and also, who want to study to take care of that or whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I've heard too, so many stories. I haven't heard everything this since 2008. I haven't heard everything. Nothing is clear. Nothing is rational. Nothing makes sense anymore. Everything is breaking all the rules, all the laws. Everything is just crazy. Bananas. I haven't heard everything. Seriously. If I were to actually make a YouTube video about everything that I have learned about 08, if I could remember half the stuff, believe me, my whole page will be already worldwide broadcast. This is some crazy stuff. Yeah. Especially with these girls and the pregnancies and all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's I crazy. I mean, I just don't understand how you a lesbian, but you got, or you could have had four or five kids. You know what I'm saying? Already. That's telling me you doing some smashing. From what I understand it, don't nobody got all this money for artificial insemination. You ain't white, so you ain't rich. You know what I'm saying? Now, you could be black and rich, too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that all white people are rich. But most people who do artificial insemination are very successful people who are who pretty much are white. 
you know, or they adopt. But usually they have a lot of money because artificial insemination is not cheap. You can't just, you know. Man, it starts from like 7 G's and probably end around 17, 20 yeah, G's. That shit ain't cheap. But I, I hear a lot of girls claiming that shit too. Like, oh, you know, oh, me and my baby mother, we were just this and that. And yeah, we got the artificial insemination. And oh, how much it costs. Oh, well, you know, I didn't, I didn't know. You know, I had nothing to do with it. You know, I just, I just oh. got it done. You know, <laughs> and, 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 and something else too. For these girls who are out here with these stuff and these femmes who are out here with these certain studs who make them get pregnant and you basically get pregnant and they are no longer with you what is that that that's also a, a problem too because i'm hearing a lot of femmes nowadays talking about some yeah my stud wanted me to get pregnant so you know his uh her brother you know knocked me up or whatever 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 and you know the baby's like what about two three months now and the stud nowhere to be found <laughs> That's some bull stuff too. Y'all gotta stop lying these days. Some of you girls, you know who you are. You stop lying these days. No, you basically let a nigga get up in dead and you end up pregnant and there you have it. Right. It's not a rape thing. You just let them do it. So why don't you go ahead and admit to it for the ones right. who did admit, not get it. Admit raped. that you missed the dick. You ain't had it in a long time. And that's, you know, and then you claim rape. Now, of course, me, of course, I never i would never miss anything of the sort you know what i'm saying but there are girls out here who decided to be lesbians and all of a sudden they just get this sudden urge for some dick and they got brothers that's what they keep dudes around constantly for just so that they can fuck every now and then on off the private tip because i know you know i had a cab driver tell me one time that there was a stud that fucking let him smash that joint you know smash not once not twice, but three or four times. First, he started out eating a pussy. Then he was she. Then he was just like, "Well, you know, I want to do more." And she just let the shit happen. Like, okay, beat the joint. Then described to me how this fucking stud was screaming his name and telling him to beat it harder. People, what the fuck is this shit? What you got, motherfucking cab drivers telling me how they beating up young studs and they got fem. Dominant the motherfucker and, letting, and a, know letting the Ab Arabian <laughs> African motherfucker beat the shit out. Man, come on now. Dick them down. What? My. <laughs> like wow. I was saying earlier, it's crazy these days. All the stuff that is going on. I mean, stuff are it's seriously unbearable. I mean, seriously. If not unbearable, it's just not logic. <laughs> it's, a, it's, I, it's crazy. I tell you what. I was simply disgusted when that cab driver decided he was going to describe to me. Because, of course, he asked me, was I stood and was she my girl? And, you know, she walked and he was like, yeah, she fine in the mug, whatever. You know, I took that because I'm like, yeah, that's a compliment. You know what I'm saying? For you, okay, I'm going to let you pass with that. But, you know, this nigga going to call himself because one stud let him hit. He thinking that, oh, all studs let niggas hit. No, hell no. I Maybe would never if, let you get near anything, my shit. If anything, most stuff that I know, we'll be like, yeah, 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 all right, uh-huh. Would have dipped out the taxi, ain't paid this man nothing. Or probably would have, you know, paid him with a bust of cap in his ass, you know. But uh, <laughs> that is, I mean, that's just, like I said, one of the many problems that we go through in 2008. So, as this is right now, for the, the, ver the verdict is for these films or girls who did not get raped. You know, and actually let a nigga, actually laid down and let the nigga do what he do or whatever, or actually gave in or whatever, just tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You wanted the dick, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Or I know whatever. it was no good, because I know you didn't nut. So or it was like, not. Or it was a not, waste just... of time. That's why you said it was rape, because you ain't nut, and it was a waste of time. I know. It's okay. Well, anyway, this is Blaze, a.k.a. Blaze is too much for you. This is Dangerous Donable. And we signing off. We see y'all a little later. So peace out. Peace out.